Hi guys, it's your boy B, and in this video we're going to talk about something from the Ordinary Skincare line which is meant for your under eyes before you apply your lotions and potions and all of that stuff. So it says this is the Caffeine Solution 5% plus the EGCG. Now, what that fancy... Okay, come on, there we go. So what that EGCG means I'm going to butcher this, but it's epigalanocyte, no, nope. so it's epigalanochitin galanate. I think I said that completely wrong, but we'll just call it EGCG for now. So basically, caffeine is a chemical stimulant which is used in coffee, tea, and some soft drinks, demonstrated both as an anti-carcinogenic and it also has antioxidant properties. So initially, Caffeine's potential is an inhibitory role in cancer development and it was found through oral administration of black and green tea with researchers done back in the day. So basically, this study then showed that the oral administration of caffeine, which means us taking it from our mouths, with the addition of caffeine and decaffeinated teas, it showed inhibitory effects with UVAB-induced carcinogens. So that's kind of where we have stemmed from this process. So continued research then, you know, was very skeptical about this. And um, research also then found that topical application of the tea constituents, researchers then found that the topical application of the caffeine and the EGCG also decreased the number of non-malignant and malignant skin tumors. So that's kind of where we are stemming from in this product to be used under our skin. So that part is the super medical part that I just said. So I'm sorry if that's not something that you were trying to watch in this video, but that's just something that we all should, you know, know about. So the research also then suggested, you know, for further studies and um, can, in, it can also inhibit sunlight induced skin cancer in humans. Further studies with some doctors have shown that topical application of the caffeine sodium benzenate and caffeine have both sunscreen effects that help induce UVAB induced apoptosis. And it also may be good for other skin cancer related stuff. However, this research, of course, one doctor says this, another doctor says something different. So this is all, some sort of research that has no perfect sign so far. So caffeine, you know, has good and bad attributes for when you use it in your body. Um, mostly with the skincare, the concentration is what really matters. This product concentration is high that we've seen before, but that's not always going to be a good thing. So, you know, the first problem that research is that there isn't enough to support with this new skincare. So basically what I'm trying to say is yes, there has been research done for these products and yes, there are positives that we see with this. However, us in the science field have not seen enough experience from these doctors, from these uh, people doing studies to find something so stern about this EGCG and caffeine with such positives. That's something that we really have to understand. Yes, someone can tell us this product will do magic for our skin. However, we do sometimes have to refer to science to tell us, is that true or is that not true? Um, so one of the chemicals that's found in caffeine is the antioxidant tannic acid, which is a good thing, but it's also giving caffeine, which contradicts the qualities when it's applied on the skin. So while the constricting may help actually reduce the under eye puffiness due to the fluid retention that we keep in our skin, um, and something to keep in mind is this is not the puffiness from fat pads pouching out of the eye due to the age that constrict the eye. You know, it's effectively, potentially, also potentially going to irritate the skin. So caffeine, you know, isn't likely to help with your dark circles despite uh, them telling us that it will be a huge thing where you wake up in the morning and it's cellulite reducing and this and that. So really if you look at it to help with cellulite is caffeine, then why not just apply espresso on your face? You know, if it really helped that much, that's what we would be doing, but we're not, as we know. 
if the caffeine were present in lower amounts, it would be a decent serum that contains some really good antioxidants and hydrating ingredients such as naturally occurring hyaluronic acid and some other plant extracts. So basically, let's get on with this pros and cons. So yes, it contains some very good antioxidants. Yes, caffeine is an antioxidant, and yes, that's good. It's very fluid-like, it's very easily spreadable, a very good formula, and it hydrates very beautifully for our eyes. It's very inexpensive, there's no scent to this product, which is something that a lot of people really do like. However, the 5% that it is offered in the ordinary skincare could pose a risk for irritation for some people. I have used this for the past few weeks and I've had none of that occur, so I have all positives to say about this. However, the one thing really is that there's very limited research on caffeine's benefits in this topical style um, for cellulite and dark circles. Something that we really do have to understand that there is not too much research about it. You know, and I speak about research, you know, there are other people that are going to speak about just something from the cosmetic industry and that's totally fine. If it does good for you and like it does for me, awesome. Why not, you know? Really quickly, I'm going to get into the skin benefits of green tea, which is something that we find within here. So studies have shown that this helps with skin cancer. Human studies have shown that topical green tea formulations really reduce the sun's damage. So how green tea really works is by reducing the radicals and reducing the inflammation rather than just blocking the UV rays. So that way, green tea is actually synergistically enhancing sun's protection while using sunscreen. And this green tea syner are synergists, which means they both help each other in the protection of sun. So like I have already mentioned, these new products are beneficial for us. However, not everything can be beneficial for something so thin and with something so thin, which is the skin around our eyes. There are positives for this product and I have had no negatives in the past few weeks that I have been using it and I will continue to use this. So, you know, if I personally have to give a review, I give thumbs up because I personally feel like this product has done something for me and there's no negatives that I can personally think about. So thank you so much for watching this video if you have been until here and please subscribe and um, 